Hey everybody, Mitch Ribak here with EXP Realty. It used to be Tropical Realty Beachside in uh, Cocoa Beach in Melbourne, Florida. Uh, we merged our company oh, almost three years ago. It'll be three years ago next month with EXP. And with what's going on right now, a lot of people have been reaching out to me. A lot of brokers have been reaching out to me and really been asking me why I made the switch. Why did I decide to give up everything that I worked hard for to join a company? And, and if you know me, maybe a lot of you don't, uh, I've been self-employed my entire life since I was 19 years old. I've owned companies and, you know, not being the guy was a big deal. So why did I do it? Well, firstly, I own a brokerage uh, for 13 years. We had 120 agents. Uh, it was fun, but it wasn't satisfying. And what do I mean by that? Uh, it was really frustrating. I mean, I tried really hard to help people become successful in our business. And, you know, there's only a small percentage, about 14%, that actually make it in our business. So I spent a lot of time and a lot of years and a lot of hours every week begging people to be like me, trying to, trying to get them to be successful. Very hard to do. So anyways, at the time, it was November 2016, I had a couple things were going on. Um, one was I, would, I turned 55 that year, which was kind of freaking me out. Uh, two, I owned another company along with my uh, real estate brokerage, and I was working about 80 to 100 hours a week. It was really, it was too much. It was getting to me. So I, um, I went and decided I was going to sell the company. I, I basically reached out to a bunch of different franchises, put myself up for sale, and I got a couple of offers and decided to go with one. Uh, and the funny part was we got down to sit down and talk about the terms because everything else was negotiated. And they, they hold the terms to last, right? They get you excited about selling your company. And they told me this. It was, blows my mind to this day. Well, we're going to give you a little money the first year. A little money in the second year. In the third year, we're going to give you a final payout, which is going to be 100% dependent on how many of your original 120 agents come over to the company. So I looked at them in the eyes and I said, all right, so let me get this straight. So if you guys suck at what you do and 50% of my agents leave, I'm going to get 50% of my money. They said, yes. I said, that is the stupidest freaking thing I've heard in my life. In my life, I've never heard anything that stupid. Why would I give my, my whole livelihood away to somebody that I don't have any control of. So anyways, I, uh, at that point, I literally, I, I let go of 50 agents. I was done babysitting. I was done trying to help people become successful who didn't want to be successful. Uh, and I um, let go of 50 agents. I got down to about 65 agents and then called Jason Guessing from EXP Realty, who I've met with a few times before. But why didn't I do it before that? Because my ego got in the way. I was too, uh, I'm, I'm the broker, I'm the big guy, I'm the big guy on campus, right? Uh, all the crap that we tell ourselves to make ourselves feel good about life. Uh, anyways, I went up to New York and met Jason, and I said, Jason, the biggest issue I'm having with this is my brokerage. I've built a great brand, we do 700 transactions a year, four and a half million dollars a year in revenue. Uh, it's a great brokerage. And he said, well, keep your name. I'm like, what are you talking about? He says, just be Tropical Realty Beachside Broken by EXP Realty. I'm like, why did you tell me that two years ago when we first met? And we both kind of laughed. I didn't know we could do that. I probably would have joined a lot earlier. And instead of being at where I'm at today, I probably would have been a lot more, which I'll get into in a little bit. So anyways, I came back from, uh, from New York all excited, but didn't really do anything about it because I was actually making a few dollars at that point. And I didn't, I didn't know how to break it to my agents that I wanted to do this. So finally, I took about 34 of my agents who did about 92% of my business into a, a breakfast. And we, I just explained it to him. I said, look, this is an opportunity. It's actually the best opportunity I've ever seen in my life of being self-employed for 40 years. Well, back then it was 37 years, I think. And I think we should take a shot. I go, the worst case scenario, if we don't like it, we'll just switch back to Tropical Realty. Not really a big deal, right? So um, they all said yes. It was pretty amazing. So fast forward to June of 2017. Uh, June 1st, we switched over with 40 agents. We lost 25. Uh, at that point, there were only 2,800 agents in the company. And uh, most of them uh, weren't in Florida. We, I think we had like 50 agents in Florida. We only had five in Orlando. We had none here. And every broker in the county went after all my agents as soon as we heard we were making the switch. So I lost 25 agents. Of those 25, 19, 19, had never sold a house. So it wasn't a big deal, right? Of those six, three have come back now. So they, they were just nervous for their livelihood. They didn't know. Uh, so anyways, the first few months of switching over were tough. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. EXP really didn't know what they were doing with me. I was the largest brokerage to switch at that point. Um, and, and we, Jason and I used to kind of, 
you know, kind of joke that I'm basically the test subject for everything, which is great. Uh, and but after about two or three months, I lowered my expenses. I went from 100,000 when I had 120 agents down to 65,000 when I got rid of my newer agents and switched over with a $65,000 overhead. But within about three months, got it down to about 30,000 and then down to 25, and now we're down to about $15,000 a month in overhead. Uh, EXP pres presents so many tools and stuff for my agents that I don't have to spend the money on that anymore. I don't need the staff like I used to have. I used to have seven employees. Now I have one full-time employee and one part-time employee. So all that stuff I had to have when I had my brokerage, I don't have anymore. So where are we today? So here we are, fast forward, it'll be three years, June 1st. Uh, very exciting, have a three year anniversary. And I have about 530 agents right now uh, in 26 states. Uh, grows at about three to 5% per month right now, pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, and you know, one of the reasons I did this was when I turned 55, I just kind of freaked out. I, uh, I actually looked in the mirror and I just kind of freaked out saying, you know, what happens if I die today? Both my parents died in their uh, late 50s, 58 and 59. And I said, what happens if I die? And the reality is if I died, my family got nothing. All my agents would scatter, right? We just had that happen here locally. Uh, two of the two brokers here died recently locally and all their agents just scattered. And so what am I building for my family? If I'm building this legacy to give my family and then I die, there's no legacy. There's no nothing. So I had to really think about that. Um, and it was, it was a tough decision. I'm looking at, you know, switching, giving up almost $4 million is a tough decision for anybody. But from the long-term health, I really believe that this was the biggest opportunity for my family and for my friends and my agents. So again, fast forward, you know, here I'm doing great. Uh, I've built up a great revenue share now that uh, it took me three years. The beauty of that is I've only brought on 35 agents personally. Those 35, actually 36, those 36 agents have accounted for the 530 agents. So it's not like I personally went out and introduced 530 agents to the company. I didn't. I introduced 35 and taught them how to introduce people to the company. Not very hard, right? Really simple, actually. Uh, I, I've cut my hours down from 80 hours a week. I work 40 hours a week now. I have never worked 40 hours a week in my life. And sometimes I don't think I actually work 40 hours, but I tell myself that. Um, I used to get 15 calls a day from realtors who needed help. I get about five calls a week now. Uh, it's just things that I never thought were gonna happen. And I actually have an amazing life right now. Uh, I, I spend more time with my grandkids. Uh, I spend more time with my wife. I'm actually present. So I'm all, I'm all stressed out about paying my bills anymore. Uh, I'm wondering how I'm gonna pay the payroll. Because my agents didn't want to sell any homes in November and December and we have no revenue in January and February. I know you can all relate to that, right? Um, so where am I gonna be in a couple of years? Well. By the end of this year, I should be about 750 agents. And by the end of 2021, I should be around, right around 1,500 agents. And by the end of 2022, which is gonna be my, my retirement date, pseudo, by the way, I'll never retire because I'm a chronic entrepreneur, right? But it'll be my retirement date. And, and when I say retire, it means I'll probably only work 20 hours a week. And uh, I should be somewhere between two and 3,000 agents back at that point. And that, trust me, is a very, very, good retirement income. So if you're a broker out there uh, and you're, put your ego aside for a few minutes and really check out if you like what you like. I talked to a broker the other day, uh, 20 agents lost $65,000 last year, right? My best years, I would lose $50,000. Sometimes my best years, I'd make a hundred grand. My best year ever, I made 200 grand. There's not a lot of money in being a broker. Uh, now, is there some people out there that are doing well? Of course there is. But almost every broker that I talk to doesn't really like being a broker. We like saying we're a broker. We like the ego part of it, but don't really like, don't really love being a broker. So if you're one of them and you want to talk and want to discuss how I can help you and how I can show you how to change your life and live the life I'm living right now, I, I can never tell you this. I mean, everybody, everybody thought I had an amazing life being a broker. It was ridiculously hard. It was, I always say, you know, I've, I've owned one of my businesses, I own was a restaurant which is the worst brokerage I ever, worst business I ever had. Only a brokerage was worse than owning a, a restaurant to me. Not because I didn't love my people and love my, love helping everybody, I love that part of the job. But the reality is I killed myself and I had no control of my revenue. I was completely dependent on a bunch of people and if they didn't want to work, like in November, December, then I lose, lose money. So if you're interested in finding out more how EXP has changed my life and how it can change your life, I'd love to talk to you. 
Have an awesome day. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.